the in band, whose brilliant second album Cool Like You is out this week. Are in talks with Netflix for the sitcom they are writing with Craig Cash. And he created the royal family with late comedy actress Carolina Hearn. Blossom's comedy will ape the monkeys. The classic 1960s TV sitcom about the house share adventures of American popsters. Singer Tom Ogden, who turns 25 on Sunday, told me. We've met up with Craig and his writing partner Phil Mealy, as they love all the little video films we've done. We love Early Doors. The pub sitcom Craig and Phil wrote which was set in Stockport where we're from. Our comedy is going to be like the monkeys meets the royal family. We're talking to Netflix, it'll be the first Netflix show set in Stockport if it comes off. Blossoms have even approached. The Monkeys to help on their comedy with an assist from their mate Noel Gallagher, who wrote a song for the Monkeys 2016 album Good Times. Bassist Charlie Salt, 26, explained, My uncle got the Monkeys singer Mickey Dolan's number. As he knows them from when they used to drink in Manchester, we told Mickey. We are the new Monkeys and now he's up for producing our show. Oasis did the theme for the royal family. When we said we knew Noel, Mickey said it'd be great if we all got together to write the theme for our show. The band plan on developing the show during breaks in touring. Their tour starts on May 7th. While they play festivals and BHD Weekender, All Points East. Isle of Wight and TRNSMT drummer Joe Donovan said, We'd been approached by a few people to write a script about being in a band. But it was all posh comedians who pretend they're rock and roll by lying about being expelled from boarding school. Meeting Craig and Phil, it's the perfect Northern Alliance. Cool like you is out now. Underscore. Anne Marie's debut album Speak Your Mind is only one day old and she's already thinking about the next one. Feeling anything but blue. The singer said, I want to release another album, like, really soon. I just feel like I've waited so long for this first one. So, I want to be able to record a second album in the next year. She added, on the second album, I really want to be more gritty. The star threw a karaoke party in London to celebrate the launch of the Speak Your Mind. Album this week. Underscore never thought we'd see the day that Lady Gaga went full normal. The pop diva. Once famed for meat dresses and telephone hats, appears to prefer rocking box fresh matter lamb clobber these days. The Latin blast of shaft breach of Mother Monster is looking serene while recording new material. Her first since cancelling tour dates due to acute pain. Has hit that red. I hope the music isn't as vanilla as her dress. Gaga's two year Las Vegas residency kicks off in December. Underscore it's probably not there. First time he's been called one but Ed Sheeran really is a Muppet now. A puppet likeness of the singer first appeared in his 2014 sing video and now that same Muppet has grown facial for new video. Happier. He's become a hard boozer too, drinking his pain away with a sign that reads heartbroken and unhappier. It's a far cry from the real Ed who is engaged to Cherry Seaborn. Underscore you wait 10 years for a Destiny's Child reunion. Then three come along in the space of 10 days. Beyonce, Michelle Williams and Kelly Rowland got back together in West Hollywood to toast their recent Coachella festival appearances. And this time the girls were allowed bubbly. Hence the fierce bootylicious poses. At the same time, a San Francisco church, Grace Cathedral, held a mass dedicated to honoring Bay. Praise be to the independent women. Underscore.
You know you've made it when you land your own clothing collection. Steph Long Don launched her collaboration with Boohoo this week, which she calls Why But Cool. Now she hopes Rihanna will wear some of it. She said, It's affordable. Fresh and takes inspiration from catwalk trends, especially in the way the clothes are tailored. Steph also appears on Neo's new single. Pushback. Underscore after a tumultuous week on Twitter. Kanye West is getting back to reality with some do gooding. The rapper is planning to help thousands of people in his hometown of Chicago. Kanye's Donda social organization is tipped to give out advice and financial support to people in need. It comes just days after he took a pop at fellow Chicago local Barack Obama for not helping the city out.